everybody welcome to let's conquer autism in today's video we will be discussing how you can practice complex picture description with your kids in the previous video i had shared level one that that was a level which was for beginners like how you can practice a very simple picture description with your kids i also shared the strategy which you can use to you know promote language development in small kids in today's video we will be discussing about little uh, complex level picture descriptions Today's video is basically for those kids who have already achieved the level of answering WH questions, okay, but they have difficulty in understanding the more complex uh, concepts, maybe you can say the concepts that are very abstract and, you know, little cognitive uh, concepts. So I will be discussing how you can practice or maybe how you can teach the kids to practice complex picture descriptions. So let's get started. So whenever you are starting picture description, complex picture description like level 1 is achieved and you are moving on from simple to complex picture description, always start with a topic, uh, you know, which is familiar to the kid. Like for example, garden is a place which is familiar to kid. It is a place which the child visits almost every day. Okay. And the child usually, the child frequently sees it. So he knows about it. He has an idea about that place. Okay. So if we present a topic which is already familiar to the kid the kid will be in a position to speak more and more about it okay so now i have taken an example of a garden so here also what you can do is you can give some clue to the kid so you can make a you know you can give a list of uh, the these main areas that the kid needs to talk about and then according to this list the kid can start talking about it now for example the first thing that the kid needs to describe is about the place which place is it okay so for example he will say okay this is a garden and then the second thing is that you have to talk about the people that you can see in the picture and along with that you also have to talk about the people that th what they are doing in the picture so basically the verbs okay the verbs that are being shown in the picture so you can ask the kid or maybe you can train the kid to go in a clockwise or an anti-clockwise uh, you know manner so that the child does not miss any important information and he talks about each and every person uh, shown in the picture for so now for example you are you have to start by pointing a particular picture if you think that the child is not able to you know speak in a certain manner so you can simply give him some prompt and you can you know the child gets a message okay so i have to start talking about this person for example the child says a uh, granny is feeding grains to the birds now here you get an opportunity to expand the language to expand the uh, you know to increase the sentence length for example you have to go slow you have to go step by step for example initially you will tell okay we are you going to use adjective for a granny an old granny is feeding grains uh, to the birds or if you think that the child can catch up uh, more of uh, you know uh, words then you can again you can also add on that where the where the granny is sitting and then what is she doing so adjectives we added adjectives we added prepositions like where exactly she is and then we added verbs that what action is is she doing so i'll uh, tell you how to say an old granny is sitting on the bench and feeding grains to the birds okay so like this you have to uh, increase the sentence length like this you have to do the language expansion step by step by step okay if you think that the child is not at a level where he can speak such a big uh, length sentence then just cut short it's okay just accept the uh, sentence okay an old granny is just add adjective that time an old granny is feeding grains to the birds okay and then if you point this okay a boy is sitting on the bench and listening to music okay a boy with red hat is a boy with red hat is waving okay a boy with brown hair is holding a heart shaped balloon okay so now you can see that we are adding lot of adjectives and we are increasing the sentence length slowly slowly okay so here a girl is hiding behind the tree 
a small baby is in the pram after this uh, see after this level is achieved then you can come up with some why questions you can come up with some how questions you know little complex topics wherein uh, the kid will have to think and then answer okay now for example you can say okay who do you think who this boy is uh, you know waving his hand to who is this boy waving hand to so the kid will say okay the boy is waving his hand to his friend okay now why do you think why he is waving his hand because they both are friends okay why do you think why this girl is amused okay so you are also adding some uh, you know complex emotions you are also introducing some complex emotions okay so instead of happy we are using a word amused yeah she is feeling amused so why do you think why this girl is feeling amused so you can say because she is playing hide and seek with her friend and her friend is unable to find her okay so now here for example what do you think how this this boy is feeling so this this boy is actually enjoying his mu music so what do you think what makes you think that this boy is enjoying his music so you are also encouraging the child to focus on the body language the way he is sitting in a relaxed manner so you know the child's thinking skills are also improving okay so like this you have to ask you have to keep on asking some uh, complex uh, questions wherein the child will think observe and then come up with the answer the child will not get it at day 1 okay so you will have to help him you will have to model him uh, and wherever he is stuck you have to you will have to you will have to bring to his notice okay okay and then gradually with practice you know then the observation skills will improve and the child will be able to uh, you know uh, describe Uh, uh, describe new pictures in a very good manner i will take one more picture so that you also get a so that you get a clear idea or also uh, i have taken one more example of a, a picture of a complex picture wherein you know you can ask the child to uh, repeat the same strategy for uh, you know describing the picture like first he has to describe uh, where the scene has taken place secondly the people and thirdly the objects okay then uh, after achieving that stage now next what you can do is as i said that you can ask lot of uh, inferential thinking questions also um, ask uh, some questions like the child has to uh, introspect and opportunity to to think on others perspective also like theory of mind jisko hum bolte hain so like this for example now here how this uh, lady is feeling so uh, he will come up with the answer the child will come up with the answer the lady is feeling tired and the lady is feeling little upset okay so why do you think why this lady is feeling upset we are you know motivating the kid uh, to think on this lady's behalf so theory of mind is coming okay mind reading is going on okay so why do you think why this lady is upset okay because see nobody is helping her everybody is enjoying their own things but nobody is helping her she is doing all the household chores all alone okay so like this you have to teach you have to teach initially the child will not come up with these kind of sentences initially the child will not get these type of uh, these type of concepts so you will have to teach the child everything okay now for example now here you can uh, you know focus on the introspection skills like what do you think if you would have been in this boy's place what would you have done we are giving the opportunity to the child to introspect like if you would have been in this boy's place what would you have done so let the child come up with his own answer okay even if he is saying wrong it's okay but then if he is saying wrong you can uh, you know teach him or maybe you can uh, tell him that if i would have been in this boy's place i would have helped mother in doing the household chores okay so now what do you think what next is going to happen so like questions like this what next next will happen so let the child come up with his own answer if he is not saying then you can say okay i think that now mother is going to clean the dirty utensils uh, what is expected from these family members what they should do so they should actually help the mother help the mother in doing the household chores 
they should do teamwork so like this you can introduce lot of concepts you can introduce lot of you can you know you can um, add on you can introduce lot of uh, vocabulary to the child while uh, doing a picture description so i hope friends uh, this video will be helpful to you and you will get some points you will get some key points that how we can work with our kids on uh, complex picture descriptions if you like this video please please do share it with your friends and do share it with needy parents and i hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel it will motivate me to make uh, more uh, such informative videos for you all thank you so much let's conquer autism